Hey there guys and gals, the introvertible here and um it's um early um April of um of twenty twenty one and um I figured I'd uh, make a video um to share about um the recent um thing that has happened and that is basically um blue sky um shutting down. Now for those who don't know, back in February of 2021, Disney announced that Blue Sky would be shutting down due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and um, this news um, shocked a lot of um, animation fans, including me. Um, this was incredibly um, heartbreaking because, um, you know, Blue Sky was such an, you know, such an important company in the whole cgi era of the of the you know the film industry and um and stuff like that um this isn't scripted i'm literally just m rambling what's you know on my head but yeah this was incredibly heartbreaking to me considering blue sky was a company that i grew up on i grew up watching the first ice age movie um the second ice age movie robots so i grew up on that you know i grew up on the ice age films the rio films um the peanuts movie you know i grew up with you know all of that and stuff and um you know so for this company that i spent my entire childhood you know idolizing or shutting down is heartbreaking and what makes it even more hard is the fact that um is the fact that you know that we'll never get to see their final 14th ever movie, um, Nimona. In fact, I'd even purchased the book itself, which is down there somewhere, you know, because of the, you know, the news that Blue Sky was going to make a movie out of it. But now, it's not even being made, because Disney shut it down. It's so heartbreaking. And if there's one thing I can just hope is the fact that a company may, like, maybe, like, DreamWorks can pick up the the Nimona project and work on it because I do want to see Nimona be turned into um into a film you know <sighs> but I mean the reason why I want DreamWorks is because if they can turn you know The Croods 2 which is a film they cancelled a while ago but then they actually ended up um creating if they can do something like that then surely something the Nimona project has to be you know brought back to life for and, um, you know, this was incredibly heartbreaking to me because, you know, Blue Sky had, you know, just, you know, um, just made up my childhood along with, you know, DreamWorks and Disney and stuff like that. So, for it to be shut down like this is just, it's so heartbreaking. Like, whatever the people who, who worked at Blue Sky Studios, whatever they want to do, like, in the future, I'm now considering the company has shut down i i wish him the best of luck you know like i i really do you know i wish him the best of luck and like even if, no matter what changes throughout happen throughout the entire movie industry we'll always have um you know this company's um you know 13 long legacy to as a you know as a you know as a thing to go back on you know and even though I didn't get to see their final ever movies in the theaters, like, you know, Ice Age Collision Course or Ferdinand or Spies in Disguise, it, you know, it still, you know, hit me hard considering I watched Ice Age, Robots, Ice Age The Meltdown, um, Doctor Wharton is a Who, Doctor the Dinosaurs, Rio, Constance Adrift, and Rio 2 and the Peanuts movies. I'd seen, like, ten of their movies. I, there were just a few that I had, um, you know, missed out on stuff like that and it's been you know it's been painful you know also this song that i'm using in the background is um under fair use by the way so please youtube don't um copyright it um and stuff like that but yeah it's so you know heartbreaking because you know this was a company i grew up on i remember i have so many memories of my sibling of my siblings and me just watching the movies i just gotten there you know they you know, I said five because I was gonna watch that, you know. It's so heartbreaking. And overall, I'm mad at Disney. I'm mad at Disney for shutting this amazing company down. Like, fuck you, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek. I'm mad at Bob Iger because he he's the one that acquired 20th Century Fox to begin with. So yeah, thanks for that, Bob Dickhead. Um But I'm disappointed in Chapek as well for shutting this company down. 
and, you know, even though I am mad at them and stuff, at the same time, I can understand why they do something like this, you know. This COVID-19 pandemic has affected, you know, everyone in the world, so I can understand why they would do something like this, but at the same time, they, it could have been, you know, Disney could have shut themselves down, they could have shut down Pixar, but yet it had to be Blue Sky that had to be, you know, gone in the end. for this month is to watch all 13 of their movies that they made from the first Ice Age movie all the way up to Spies in the Skies I plan on watching them all on Disney Plus and I'm going to do all of that to honour this incredible company thank you for everything you gave us Blue Sky thank you for everything but yeah this um you know it's been tough and it's especially even been tough now considering the company's now probably the building has all shut down and stuff you know and the company doesn't exist and all of its properties goes to Disney because Disney acquired 20th Century Fox so, and Blue Sky was a company an animation company for 20th Century Fox yeah um yeah um I've got nothing else to say other than I'm mad at Disney, but I can understand what they've done. And if there's one thing I can always hope for is that people will always remember to look back on this amazing company and their films that they made for, their, for the short time they had. Yeah, that's all I've um, got to say, so um, goodbye.